320 structural parameters of the launch vehicle and flight parameters are nominal coming up on the six minute mark Soyuz heading downrange in good shape heading for its preliminary orbit 350 seconds everything is nominal we're feeling fine. Everything is nominal on board. Copy. Echoing the words of his cosmonaut father, Alexander Volkov, 35-year-old Commander Sergei Volkov, reporting everything in good shape on board the Soyuz TMA-12. Three hundred and eighty seconds. Nominal. Stage three thrusters are working as they should. Coming up on the seven and a half minute mark into the flight, velocity now almost 13,500 miles an hour for the Soyuz. 400 seconds. Pitch, yaw, and roll are nominal. Four hundred and thirty seconds nominal. We are fine on board and feeling fine. Copy. Once uh, the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare it for orbital operations, including uh, stored commands called time tags, allowing many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times. Parameters and the launch vehicle are nominal. Eight minutes into the flight, Less than a minute of powered flight remaining for the Soyuz. Five hundred seconds. Launch vehicle stabilization is nominal. Copy. Standing by for third stage cutoff and separation. Third stage SEP now confirmed. The single liquid fuel engine is now shut down and is dropping away at an altitude of 125 statute miles. Copy. Eridani, I am transferring COM to 10. Congratulations to the entire crew. Uh, Sergey, uh, all the best to you and congratulations. This is Permanov. Thank you very much, Anatoly. Thank you. Eridani, have a good flight and transferring calm to Mission Control Moscow. Copy. Eridani, this is Mission Control Moscow. Go ahead. <coughs> All of the indications are on as per page 44. Congratulations to the crew radioed up from Roscosmos head Anatoly Permanov at the launch site at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. You see him there. And it's their first flight. They're young in age and young in experience, and they don't have the wealth of experience, unfortunately, that other more experienced crew members had. But after uh, they have gone through the flight, and once they have spent six months on board the station, this is going to be a 
different crew and they're going to be more experienced. They have uh, Sergei Volkov, who is a son of a famous cosmonaut who uh, is a veteran of three flights of six months or more. And we have another uh, cosmonaut, Romanenko, who is also a son of a cosmonaut, and young people are going to space, and that's good. Those remarks uh, from Roscosmos head Anatoly Permanov uh, at the launch pad uh, where he uh, viewed uh, the liftoff at 6.16 a.m. Central Time of the Soyuz TMA-12 and the Expedition 17 crew along with South Korean spaceflight participant So Yun Yi now en route to the International Space Station continuing uh, to watch in-cabin views of Volkov on the left and uh, flight engineer Oleg Kononenko on the right. Uh, the uh, solar arrays have now been deployed on the Soyuz TMA-12 along with its navigational antennas following a flawless liftoff into a cloudless sky in the Central Asian desert uh, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Oversight of the spacecraft now uh, has been transferred to flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev outside Moscow. Two days from now, a link up in space will take place high above Mongolia within sight of ground tracking stations. That docking uh, set for just after 8 a.m. Central Time will continue the seamless transition of one crew on board the International Space Station to the next. And 11 days from now, with the handover between the two crews completed, Expedition 16 minus NASA astronaut Garrett Riesman, but with spaceflight participant So Yun Yi in hand, will board the Soyuz currently docked at the station's Zarya module and will return home, bringing Peggy Whitson and Yuri Malenchenko back to Earth after a half year in space and Yi after a week and a half in orbit. They will leave Expedition 17, the new 17 crew of Volkov, Kononenko, and Riesman to oversee the ongoing research and operation of the space station. In fact, Garrett Riesman uh, will become an official member of the Expedition 17 crew on Thursday afternoon after he exchanges his custom-made Soyuz seat liner uh, with that of Soyun Yi. Uh, Riesman's uh, seat liner will go into the newly arrived Soyuz TMA-12. Yi's seat liner will be transferred to the older Soyuz TMA-11 that is docked to the Nader or Earthward facing docking port of the Zarya module. During its increment, Expedition 17 uh, will be visited by three progress resupply vehicles and one space shuttle. Uh, Volkov and Kononenko will conduct one spacewalk in July in Russian Orlan suits out of the pier's docking compartment to continue the assembly and outfitting of the orbital outpost. The next crew, Expedition 18, will launch to the station on October 12th. That crew to be commanded by station veteran and NASA astronaut Mike Fink. A few programming notes. Uh, this will conclude our live coverage of the launch of the Expedition 17 crew, now well on its way toward a docking with the International Space Station. Coming up, a special NASA television video file recapping today's launch to be broadcast on NASA TV at 9 a.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And on Thursday, April 10th, our coverage of the arrival of the Expedition 17 crew and South Korean spaceflight participant So Yun Yi at the International Space Station begins on NASA TV at 7.30 a.m. Central Time. Until then, thanks for watching Expedition 17 safely in orbit en route to the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.